Hello everyone. Imagine a single weak link in a supply chain compromising the security of an entire organization. Supply chain attacks are among the most dangerous and stealthy cybersecurity threats today. In this video, I'll explore the basics of supply chain attacks, examine recent high-profile cases, and share actionable strategies to protect your systems and data. A supply chain attack occurs when a cybercriminal infiltrates a company's network through a third-party vendor, supplier or partner. Instead of targeting a well-defended organization directly, attackers exploit vulnerabilities in smaller, less secure entities in the supply chain. Once inside, they can plant malware, steal sensitive data or disrupt operations. These attacks are particularly dangerous because trust in vendors often leads to fewer security checks. According to IBM's X-Force Threat Intelligence Index, 19% of all cyber attacks in 2023 were supply chain attacks. A Ponemon Institute study found that only 30% of organizations monitor their entire vendor network for security risks. Let's look at some recent examples that highlight just how severe these attacks can be. In 2020, we had SolarWinds, one of the most notorious supply chain attacks. And hackers breached in 2020 SolarWinds, a popular IT management software provider. They inserted malicious code into a software update, which was then distributed to thousands of customers, including major government agencies and Fortune 500 companies. The impact was that over 18,000 organizations were affected, including the US Treasury and Microsoft. Then we had the Kaseya ransomware attack. Hackers exploited vulnerabilities in Kaseya's VSA software, which is widely used by managed service providers. This attack affected over 1,500 businesses globally and leveraged ransomware to demand millions of dollars in payments. In 2023, Moveit, a popular file transfer software, was targeted, exposing sensitive data from multiple organizations. Hackers exploited a zero-day vulnerability to gain unauthorized access. So why are supply chain attacks becoming more common? There are a few key reasons. First, globalization. As businesses become more interconnected and reliant on third-party providers, their attack surfaces expand. Second, insufficient vendor vetting. Many organizations don't thoroughly vet or monitor their vendors for cybersecurity practices. Hackers exploit these weaker defenses. Third, sophistication of attackers. APTs, or Advanced Persistent Threats, groups are using stealthier and more complex techniques to evade detection. Fourth, shift towards cloud services. With the rise of cloud computing, hackers focus on breaching cloud service providers to gain access to multiple client systems simultaneously. While supply chain attacks are complex, there are steps organizations can take to reduce their risk. First, perform regular vendor risk assessment. If you're in the EU, this is also regulated by the NIST 2 directive. So you have to ensure all third-party vendors meet your organization's security standards. Regularly audit their systems and policies. Implement a zero-trust model. Assume that no user or system is inherently trustworthy. Require authentication and monitor access across the board. If you want to know more about Zero Trust, I will link my video on Zero Trust in the description of this video. Third, use endpoint detection and response, so EDR solutions. EDR tools monitor and analyze endpoint activities to detect suspicious behavior. Fourth, require secure software development practices. Ensure your vendors follow secure coding practices, such as regular penetration testing and code reviews. I've done a whole playlist on secure coding, which is worth checking out. Adopt threat intelligence sharing. Finally, collaborate with industry peers and governments to stay updated on emerging threats and share mitigation strategies. As an individual or small business, here are a few steps you can take today to protect yourself against supply chain attacks. Update software regularly. Research the security reputation of the services you use. Enable multi-factor authentication wherever possible. Use strong passwords and a password manager. Supply chain attacks may sound daunting, but with the right precautions you can significantly reduce your risk. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more insights on staying safe in the digital age. Thank you for watching.